wrestling fans, thanks for clicking the Brenda D. Rose report. This is just awful. Caitlin was accidentally bloodied during her match against Natalia uh, on this week's episode of WWE NXT. Anyway, she wrote the mishap on Twitter. She said, for the record, that was not my skin hanging off of my face uh, with, uh, in the uh, Natalia match uh, on NXT. She says, I wish I was uh, that hardcore. She says, uh, I had a little accident before the match. Uh, as we all know, Graceful is not my middle name. Anyway, SmackDown Diva enclosed the following uh, uh, picture of her chin on the internet. If you uh, can find it, check it out. I'd like to see a little bit more of Natalia. I mean, of, uh, well, Natalia too, but uh, of uh, Caitlyn, a lot more. Billy Gunn, he stated on Twitter that he was backstage Tuesday at SmackDown in Orlando. He thanked Big, Big Show for inviting him. Uh, speaking of Power Slam, I think we was uh, this last month, about his uh, induction to the Hall of Fame, legendary boxer Mike Tyson says he would be interesting in wrestling for WWE. He's got a mansion he's got to pay for. He needs some money coming in. Don King's not helping at all anymore. Anyway, he said when uh, and if he still uh, wanted to know if they uh, still if he still watches uh, wrestling these days, he's responded. He said, "I don't watch it as much as I used to. It's not the same as it was." They don't have the same guys, but Triple H is coming back, WWE is coming back, and I'd like to uh, do whatever I can to be a part of that, help in any way I can. I would like to be a wrestler. Something he could really sink his teeth into, you know? Anyway, WWE website has posted an article looking at five superstars bra uh, bracing for Brock. And the article names Randy Orton, Sheamus, Big, uh, yeah, Big Show, Henry, and Kane as potential challengers for Lesnar in the coming months. If you notice, uh, those are heels and faces. So what's Brock? I don't know. He's just big. All right. By the way, another big guy, Scott Steiner. He's part of ways with TNA Wrestling last week and posted numerous messages on Twitter Thursday slamming his former employer's brain trust and particularly Hulk Hogan. He also alleges that TNA controls Sting's account on microblogging sites. So if you think you're talking to Sting, uh-uh. All right, NXT, more on that later. NXT star Maxine, she's looking forward to the company's uh, annual post-WrestleMania roster shuffle, which uh, will likely result in numerous longtime wrestlers being let go to uh, make room uh, for incoming faces. She wants her face to be incoming. Well... Anyway, she noted on Twitter the Wednesday to WrestleMania is now overtime uh, to change out with the old and in with the new. Hmm, I'm sure I would be on that list. And, uh, and they'll do the, uh, maybe the raw, not the raw roulette, but the, you know, where they shift them from SmackDown to, w, uh, to uh, Raw to SmackDown and SmackDown to Raw. All right, uh, WWE.com is advertising Booker for uh, Booker T for the Raw brand tour in Mexico next month, and WWE.com is advertising Alberto De Rio for all SmackDown events in May, except with the Mexican tour. And happy birthday, uh, happy birthday to Puerto Rican regular star uh, Slash Venom, 46 years old, and hardcore pioneer uh, uh, Pampero. Uh, Furpo. Remember the great Furpo? 82 years old. Also, uh, today would have been the birthday of WWE Hall of Famer uh, High Chief Peter Maivia would have been 75 years old. Rocks, Grant Paul. And uh, the advertised main event for June 16th, WWE's show in uh, Lowell, Massachusetts is Punk, Cena, and Sheamus taking on Bryant, Kane, and Henry. Same suspects. All right, now, Hogan responded to Scott Steiner, which I was talking about earlier. Anyway, Scott had a Twitter outburst, if you can imagine that, uh, towards his, uh, towards Hogan on the this week. Uh, anyway, Hogan wrote on Friday, today, Wow, I feel like a fool. I said, I knew Steiner. Uh, he came to TNA and uh, the last tapings and then was asked to leave. He says, I heard the news. I was lobbying hard to bring him back in uh, the right way. Uh, because I see money and talent in him. I had no idea he felt that uh, uh, that way about me because I always, uh, you know, was really nice. He was always really nice to me and my family, and I 
I guess I was really wrong. At least I know how he really feels now. Oh, you hurt Hogan's. Oh, he's so hurt. Steiner, you brute. Although Steiner was asked by TNA official staff to leave recent impact tapings, he, it did not occur uh, this week, though. It must have been a while back. WrestlingFigs.com says James Storm Crimson and SoCal Val uh, will appear at the Direct Auto Tailgate Party on um, Nash let's see, Nashville, Tennessee on Saturday from 1 to 3 o'clock if you're down that way. Call for more information. And Eric Bischoff, uh, he weighed in on Brock's decision to return to WWE by writing on Twitter, somewhat surprised by Brock's decision to come back to WWE. Some guys do it for the dollar, some do it for love of performing. Either way, it's good biz. Uh, WWE is also looking to do a one-hour Spanish language TV sp uh, special, or not special, but just a, a series, I guess. No other details are available. It's going to be the same show, just in another language which I thought they do that on SAP channel anyway. I'm confused, aren't I? Anyway, look for Wade Barrett to return to action in August after having shoulder surgery. And we noted uh, before that WWE's planning to push Barrett and, uh, uh, and may hold uh, off on the Money in the Bank ladder match until SummerSlam so Barrett can win it, hold the briefcase for the title shot for a year. Well, not quite. Morale is said to be low amongst WWE writers, some of them anyway, after uh, some were not invited to a post-WrestleMania 28 party. Uh, the main writers like Brian Gerwitz, Ed Klauski, and uh, Michael P.S. Hayes were there, and some of them didn't get invited. More feelings hurt. All right, WWE uh, had a business meeting March 31st in Miami with major executives and described it as an easygoing meeting where uh, they were pushing social media. Our truth and Brodus Clay were on were brought in to dance. Duh. Oh, it wasn't together. At the meeting, Vince was talking about how they uh, had rapper Florida perform at uh, WrestleMania 28. Sounds like Vince is high on Florida, and uh, which could explain his uh, background segment with uh, Heath Slater on the pay per view. And as noted before, word is that Brock's one year deal with WWE. It's for about $5 million. And word Lesnar is getting, I think Lesnar was getting uh, when he uh, got beat a few times in um, uh, UFC, I think he got around maybe close to $500,000. Uh, anyway, multiple, that's going to be for multiple appearances with WWE, and uh, was floating around uh, UFC and MMA circles in late 2011 before his last fight with Aleister Overeem. After signing Brock with a one-year deal, it's also believed that WWE is going to be signing The Rock to another one-year deal that will carry him through WrestleMania 29. Does that mean Rock versus Brock? With Lesnar and The Rock headlining next next year, the history of the New York market is possible for WrestleMania 29 to be an immediate sellout. Something WWE hadn't seen since 2007. <laughs> I wonder why. Regarding Lesnar's deal, it said that Vince was uh, agreeable on the money side, but uh, the number of dates that Lesnar would be working is an issue because uh, both sides ended up giving a little, I guess. Lesnar uh, will be appearing for uh, somewhere between 30 and 40 dates, I guess, leading up to WrestleMania 29. Of course, Vince wants more often him being on Raw because that was the rating, and the advertisers are just thrilled. There's a lot of talk going around the wrestling world that Ric Flair may be heading back to WWE in 2013, especially if the network gets off the ground, uh, since a lot of uh, his footage is going to be used and it's going to be very popular with the public. Would you be good on uh, uh, introductions, you know, uh, to different things and background uh, information? Flair's deal with TNA expires at the end of this year. And Flair did an interview for the Charlotte radio station earlier this week and claimed that uh, his last wrestling match was the retirement match against Shawn Michaels. He also uh, talked highly of Vince McMahon and The Rock. Apparently those other wrestling matches that uh, Flair was in was, wasn't wrestling, it was, it was entertainment. Jerry Lynn and Justin Credible have been added to the Extreme Reunion event April 28th in Philadelphia. As noted before, WWE Champion CM Punk is going to be appearing at Chicago Comic Con August 11th. Punk was uh, announced uh, today as uh, one of the main uh, 
headliners for the event. WWE has an article up looking at who should challenge Sheamus for the world title next. Uh, and uh, they listed uh, Del Rio, Show, uh, Bryant, and members of Team Laronitis. And they also uh, wrote the following about Brock Lesnar possibly talking, uh, taking on Sheamus. And finally, there's a 500-pound elephant in the room. Just one week ago, I thought Brock and uh, Sheamus' title about would uh, seem like nothing but a mere fantasy. But Lesnar's shocking appearance on Monday's Raw and the imagination set all kinds of possibilities out. Although uh, his intentions aren't clear as, uh, at the moment, uh, his very name just fuels fire and speculation. WWE Universe, uh, very real game of who's next in line, challenge the world heavyweight title. Uh, I don't know if they really know what to do with it. Uh, the Rock uh, met a boy named Thomas and his family and make a wish. And Miami Monday night before Raw Super Show, WWE.com's got uh, photos of The Rock granting Thomas's wish. And uh, the WWE Champion, Punk, Cena, well, Punk, and John Cena, Cody Rhodes, JTG, Kofi Kingston, all been rumored to replace Randy Orton in WWE's Marine 3. Because the movie is so uh, co-promoted with uh, 20th Century Fox, WWE wants a big name star in the movie and a number of the guys or near Orton's level are kind of limited. The movie begins uh, filming in June, so we hear, should hear something soon and somebody probably out of action for a while. Wrestling Observer says morale is a little bit down with the creative team that we're all uh, about not be invited to the party, but they'll get over it. As announced too, uh, there's three title matches for Lethal Lockdown. Oh, I changed channel. <coughs> you didn't see me, did you? On uh, wrestling, anyway. <coughs> anyway, Lethal Lockdown, April 15th, Nashville uh, Municipal Auditorium. As the World Tag Team Champion and Women's uh, Knockout Champion and Television Champions, all going to be on the line. Stipulations has been added to Lethal Lockdown as the losing Bischoff family member must leave TNA for good. And if they leave, it probably would be good. Lethal Lockdown. Team Bischoff versus Team uh, Garrett Bischoff. Eric Bischoff versus Team. Uh, Steel Cage Mats, Charisma, Enigma, Jeff Hardy taking on Kurt Angle. Uh, Steel Cage uh, match for the world title is going to be Magnus Samoa Joe taking on Riley and Saban. Yep, he's back. And Steel Cage match for uh, the women knockouts is going to be uh, Gail Kim, Velvet Sky, Steel Cage for television title, Devon versus Robbie E. And Steel Cage. Uh, match for the hell of it. It's going to be Crimson versus the Blueprint. Matt Morgan. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go. <laughs>